While AT&T was accused of spying on its customers for government cash, you may have missed the pitfalls of VR, the artistry inside Microsoft, and the way most people should really do beer runs. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where Anheuser-Busch is beer running like a boss with a driverless semi in Colorado, sending a shipment of Bud 120 miles in an auto truck. I just want to quibble for a second. If you're by the Rockies, it should be Coors, right? Delicious! Microsoft held a press event this week where it unveiled a bunch of new ways to create content for mixed reality darling HoloLens. MS Paint, for example, is becoming Paint 3D to create three-dimensional images, then export them to the company's virtual reality platform. Microsoft is also teaming up with a bunch of OEM manufacturers to create low-cost headsets for the forthcoming VR revolution. The real star of the show was Microsoft's new all-in-one computer, the Surface Studio. It's a 28-inch pixel-sense display packing 13.5 million pixels. That's 65% more than a standard 4K monitor. The studio works as a regular touchscreen, sure, but it can also be pushed flat for use as a digital drafting table. It supports a pen input for basic writing and drawing tasks and also uses the new Surface Dial, your basic hockey puck, except it acts as a physical scroll wheel. If you're thinking of picking up a studio, better start saving. The top of the line model will set you back $4,200 plus the $100 dial. All of that and still no Clippy? I miss him. And finally, if you think virtual reality will keep you safe in the real world, let this man's experience VR climbing be a lesson. <laughs> I think that lesson is always put pillows down.